beautiful people, what is up and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jamila, I love all things beauty, I love all things makeup and skincare, and I especially love sharing my tips and tricks for how to high-end high -end and luxury beauty products at bargain prices. If that sounds like something you're interested in, I would absolutely love if you would consider subscribing and joining the fam. Okay, you guys already saw, for today's video, I'm going to be doing three looks using the new Fantasy Cosmetica Rogue Palette. I am so excited by this palette. When I saw the sneak peek for it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is absolutely stunning. Now, I am an affiliate with the brand, so I did get this in PR, and I do have an affiliate code. It's just Jamila, and all of that will be linked down below, so if you do decide to pick this up, you can save money. I am filming this a little bit late because I wanted to show you guys multiple looks. So this palette is available now. It launched on March 1st and it is, you know, the first round it did sell out. But it is available for pre-order. So if you are interested in picking this up, all of that details will be down below, like I said. Now, if this is your first time here, how I do like to do my reviews or my first impressions is I break it up into sort of three sections. I'm going to give you guys all of the product details. I'll give you some swatches and then we'll dive into the looks and we'll come back in at the end for some like final thoughts. So without further ado, because I, I'm doing three looks, I'm trying to keep this relatively short. Let's dive into the product details. Okay. So, like I said, this is the Rogue launch from Fantasy Cosmetica. Interesting fact is that in addition to the palette, the brand is also releasing two fragrances. This is the first time they've put out fragrances, and it is, you know, a new product for the brand. So let's start with the palette first, and then we'll get into the fragrances. So here we have the absolutely stunning Rogue palette from Fantasy Cosmetica. You get five mattes, and then you have four shimmers. All of the product details are included on the back, so if you need to see the ingredients and whatnot, it is here. It is a pigment palette, so if you do have eye sensitivity, please take that into consideration. Uh, it says that this is not tested on animals, and it has a 12-month shelf life. Some other product details. Uh, rogues are known for their stealth, carefully laid plans, and their soft spoken deception. They are assassins, scouts, charlatans, and thieves. Masters of disguise and shadows. They enjoy playing tricks and making a little extra money wherever they can. <laughs> so, one another interesting thing about this palette is that this is a fully magnetic palette, so you can actually take out the shadows. And the brand, in addition to releasing the shades as a palette, you can actually purchase each of these individually as singles. So if you do decide to buy the palette, this is going to retail for $38.99. Like I said, I have a code and I know a number of other creators have codes, so you can save about 10% off. Please use somebody's code, don't pay full price. If you do decide that you don't want the palette and you only want some singles, uh, the price for the mattes is going to be $4.99 and it's going to be $9.99 for the single multi-chrome shades. So, and lastly, this was made in China, in case you all were curious. So those are the product details for the palette. Um, next up, let's talk about the fragrances. Like I said, this is completely new for the brand, and it is just such an interesting release because I feel like you don't see a lot of makeup brands go into fragrances. Uh, I feel like it's usually blushes and eyeshadow, the very sort of easy thing that they can do. So they are releasing two fragrances, quick interesting thing that I'll point out is that the bottles for the fragrances, they're 10 milliliter bottles and they are hand painted. So everyone is going to look slightly different. It's going to have a little bit of imperfections, but I kind of like that because you don't really get that with mainstream products. I am a fragrance girl in terms of like, I like wearing it. I can't tell you guys any notes or anything like that, but I love smelling good, which I think everybody should. Anyways, so there are two fragrances. The first is a rich, sweet, spiced fruit scent with light floral notes, and it's inspired by dashing, suave of rogue. So that's the, fir the first scent is actually called rogue. So like it says, it has, um, you know, those citrus and floral notes. And then the second scent is called druid, and that one has smoky wooden undertones. So it says the two fragrances are made in Redmond, Washington, and are only available to ship domestically. So if you are interested in this, unfortunately, it cannot be shipped internationally. And these are going to retail for $16.99. Now, I actually really enjoyed these fragrances. When I did get my package, my PR package from Fantasy Cosmetica, like, honestly, as soon as I opened it, the scent just hit me, and I was like, whoa absolutely fell in love immediately. Now the Druid scent is definitely the more smoky scent. It, it does give that sort of sultry, sexy, sultry, musky vibe and I really did like that. The Rogue scent is definitely a lot more floral and I think that this is gonna be a really, really good one for the spring and summer months coming up. I absolutely love it. I think that they are both just, just really unique. 
I do think that the Rogue scent is stronger because that's the one that actually hit me when I opened the package. So if you don't like anything that's too strong, I would say go for the Druid over the Rogue because the Rogue is definitely a more potent in your face scent. All right. So I've given you guys all of the details about the palette as well as the fragrances. Let me pop up some swatches so you guys can see it here. Um, like I said, we, it is a nine pan palette, so you get five mattes and four multi-chromes. Uh, the first multi-chrome, Trickster, has a pink base with a green-based gold to blue to pink shift. Sleight of Hand is a sheer multi-chrome with a deep blue to purple to golden pink shift. Sneak Attack is a multi-chrome that has a rusty brown base with a green to blue to reddish pink shift. And lastly, Deception is a multi-chrome with a purple to golden green to blue based green. So now that you guys have had a chance to see all the multi-chrome swatched out on my complexion, again, I am a medium deep with a yellow or golden undertone. Hopefully that helps. Let's dive into the three looks uh, that I'm going to do with this palette. And then, of course, we'll wrap things up with my final thoughts. Since you're already all here Since you're all here Why don't you tell me how it feels Tell me how it feels To be judging like a mother Are you feeling high and mighty? Yeah Don't touch me, no, don't touch me You trying to save me, but I got me Yeah, I don't need no intervention No intervention. 
vision. to hell and I came back on fucking fire. You can call me a hot mess, but this is my process. It may not look pretty, but baby, this is progress. Yeah. Gotta start from the bottom if you want that ascension. Did I forget to mention? I don't need no intervention. Oh, 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 oh. I don't need no intervention. Oh, 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 oh. I don't need no Oh, 
Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna attempt a halo eye because I don't do those enough. Uh, I'm gonna first go in with the blue shade, which is called Stealth. And I'm gonna use that as my transition shade all over, um, just like slightly above the crease area. I also have a very busy day today, so I'm trying to do this look real quick. So I got things to do. And by things, I mean, I gotta go to work. <laughs> Which is important, you know? It pays the bills, so it's an important thing. Like, I almost never film during the week because, you know, I work a standard nine to five, but when I am able to get up a little bit early and it does have a little bit of sunlight and I can film, I try to. I love you until I lose focus. I love you until and especially now that we are kind of like, at the end of winter, the sun is starting to rise a lot sooner. We have more daylight, which gives me more hours to play with, which is awesome. Next, I'm going to deepen that up a little bit by going into the purple shade Subtle. Popping that into the crease, blending that into the blue. And I'm using this Sonia G crease brush. It's from the mini Kiyaki set. Which is so adorable. And then lastly, to really build the edges of the halo, I'm going to go into the deep blue. It's called Cunning, and I'm going to start adding that to the inner and the outer part of the eye. I'm going in with a Refa number 15 brush, which is too big for this inner part, so I'll have to take a smaller brush to really clean that up, but we do the best we can. I'm actually going to switch to my Blend Bunny B1 brush, which is a small blending brush, very, very tiny, and I'm going to use that to get into the inner part of the eye because it's pointed and can get allow me to reach better here. I love you until further notice. I love you until I lose focus. I love you until it's a balance. And everything seen as a challenge. I love you until there's excuses. And I'm out of reasons to use it. Cause love it depends on the motive. I love you until further notice. I love you until further notice. I'm 
Okay, now that we have the outline, and don't worry, we're gonna go back, clean it up, make sure there's less harsh lines. Time for the inner pot. I'm gonna go into the shade, this, what is this called? Trickish, trickster. <laughs> and that is what I'm gonna put into the center of the lid for this halo. Oh my God, that's beautiful. This has a pink to blue green flip to it. I think this is just stunning. Oh my god, that's gorge. I love you until further notice. I love you until I lose focus. I love you until it's on balance. And everything's seen as a challenge. I love you until there's excuses. And I'm out of reasons to use it. Okay, you get the idea. I'm gonna do some cleaning, some blending. You know the drill. And I'll be right back to show you the final look. Until further notice. Okay, I'm back, and this is the final look. And I have some thoughts. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me do three looks. I normally don't do that much because I don't have a ton of time to film, but you know, three days, three looks. So let's talk about it. If I could find where I rest on the people, then palettes, Lord. So the Rogue palette from Fantasy Cosmetica, I really like this. I think that this is an absolutely beautiful palette. I think that it's really well curated as Fantasy Cosmetica always does. I really appreciate that with their nine pan palettes, there's a lot of versatility. A lot of times I'll see nine pan palettes and you can only get a couple of looks, but I found that the owner of Fantasy Cosmetica does a really good job at pulling together different colors in a way where you get more than just one or two looks. And I think that you do get that here. So you have some purple, you have some blue, you have some green, and you can always mix and match to get like the right color combination. You have five mattes and four shimmers, and I think that it's a really nice balance. Um, and the mattes and the shimmers pair really well. You do get a black, so you can deepen up any of the shades. No complaints there. And you get two deep shades as well as two sort of transition shades. So you get the light blue and the light purple, which are both really good transition shades and then you have a deep green and a deep blue so I think that in terms of the light to deep mattes perfect um, perfect mix there for the shimmers I think that they're nice they're that private label formula though that I think is a little too emollient for everyone it's definitely free, really squishy it's definitely the one that is very very creamy so I can see folks that have issues with oily lids or issues with texture not really loving this because of how creamy it is it's almost a little too creamy for me that being said, I don't have oily lids and I don't have issues with texture, so I don't mind this at all. Oh, and I should probably say that you guys saw me go in with this shade as the center lid. I actually did go and top it off and take a little bit of this one and plop it in the center as well. So I am wearing two of the shimmers in this halo eye today. So yes, like I was saying, I do think that th some of these are definitely very creamy um, and almost a little too creamy. Like this shade here and this shade, these are probably the two creamiest shades. These are, I think, a little bit less. This one is definitely very, very flaky and more flaky than the others. And I feel like these two have a little bit of a smoother consistency to it. But overall, I still really, really like this palette. Now, in terms of the mattes, these aren't necessarily my favorite mattes. You guys know I'm very, very picky about my mattes. Are they workable? Are they blendable? Are they buildable? Yes. No issues there. I think they blend and they build well. However, I do feel like they are a little bit tightly packed. They don't swatch the best, but they apply really nice. And I, I can make them work, and it's not like a fight to make them work. I don't necessarily have to reach into other palettes to use the mattes. So no complaints there. Now, it is a pigment palette, so these mattes are pressed pigments, to my knowledge. So if you have any irritation when it comes to pigments, you might want to take that into consideration in terms of whether or not you want to buy this palette. Now, this video is going up a little bit late, and as far as I know, this has already launched and it did sell out on launch but it is open for pre-order so if you are interested in picking this up you can do the pre-order and if you use my code jamila you'll save 10 percent it is affiliated just thought i'd let you guys know as a quick reminder it is 38 dollars 98 for this palette so with the 10 percent off you'll get a little bit of money back on this and if you are interested in this palette but you don't want every single shade uh the brand is making it available as a singles so you can pick up the individual singles that you like now the mattes are going to be $4.99 a piece and the 
multi-chromes are going to be $9.99, which is pretty cheap for multi-chromes because y'all know they start at like $15, $17 and go up to $25 per shade. So I think that's a really nice price. Um, and an option for folks that maybe don't want the entire palette but have one or two shades that they're really interested in. Okay, let's quickly talk about the fragrances. Now, I'm not a fragrance channel, but I do like me some perfumes. Uh, I, you all know I use the Dossier perfumes all the time. And fragrances are something that I am pretty consistent with. You know, once we started living in the Panini, I was like very much of the mindset that I'm not saving my nice fragrances for when I go outside. So I've been using, I use fragrances daily and I love it because they put me in a specific mood, right? Whenever I feel like I need to be happy or pumped up or whatever, I try to do that with the fragrances that I'm wearing. Now, I really, really like this. First and foremost, I appreciate the fact that these are hand painted bottles, which is such a cute detail and the things that you get only in these sort of small indie brands. So yeah. And the scent's really, really nice. I do, Druid is probably my favorite because it is very sultry, very sexy, in my opinion. I feel like it's definitely the one that has a more musky, masculine scent to it, which I really, really like. And the Rogue definitely is a little bit, I don't even know. It reminds me of Fall. I, I like both of them. I really enjoy these scents. I, I I will say that. I like both of them. I think that they're really cute. These retail for, I believe, $16.99 a piece. Yes, they're $16.99 a piece and you get 10 milliliters. And I will say that they are very, very strong. I found that they have great lasting power. So I really appreciate these as well. Absolutely amazing. All right. So that is it for today's video. If you guys like this look, if you liked seeing uh, my review of the Rogue palette as well as the fragrances, like this video, leave a comment down below letting me know if you planned on picking it up, if you did purchase it in the first release, um, all of that fun jazz. As always, thank you guys so very much for watching. Thank you for supporting and I will catch you in my next one. Bye!